live at Mako. We are back, folks. And we have always a hard eating guest, one of my favorites, but my co host, Mayor Emily Keller, City of Hagerstown. And who do we have, Mayor? Hey, the world famous mayor. Double, double the mayor. <laughs> I got a lot of mayors here. Yeah. Mayor Brandon Scott mayor. from Baltimore City, Charm City. Yep. Yeah. What's double going on? At Mako, man, enjoying it, you know. Got a little basketball at Mako last night. Sent some people home with some L's, you know, that's just what I do. Uh, hey, hey, I saw some pictures. I saw some pictures. You're hooping, I saw it. We got, we, look. I didn't get in town early enough, because I was ready. I had my sneakers ready to lace them Everybody up. says that, but it was on the Mako website, you know. <laughs> that's one talent I don't have. You don't want to see me out there. <laughs> Everybody's welcome. Everybody, there's levels. Everybody's well. So people from Baltimore are probably wondering, why are you here? What, like, what's the point of you, a mayor, come down? For, and what is it? How does it benefit Baltimore? Well, you got to think about it like this, right? Baltimore City is also a county, right? So right. we're that unique. But when you're talking about working and building with our colleagues across the state, we have a lot more in common than we do apart. But also when you come here and you're working, you see the state agencies, you're working with folks, you're sharing ideas, you're also learning from each other. You know, sometimes we're leading sessions, sometimes we're learning in those sessions. That's the best way for us as a state to stay connected and to be moving. Yes, we can do it on virtual meetings and all of these other things, but nothing beats that in-person contact and conversation. This is this is not a big party. There's a lot, a lot of work, especially for mayors and folks like us who just, you know, folks are going to be wanting meeting with us. We're going to be doing sessions. It's a great thing. And a lot of information is exchanged. Yeah. Mayor Kelvin, I know you have some questions for the mayor. Just, oh, yeah. <laughs> so I was I've never been interviewed by a mayor before. This is great. <laughs> hey, it's the first time. So, obviously, Mayor of Eggers Sound, 46,000 people. Yeah. And we have our fair share of issues. We're a large municipality here. And we often get called Little Baltimore. I yeah, talked with you, you about this last time. And, and people say it like it's such a terrible thing. But, yeah. you know, you deal with negative headlines the same way we do. And in Hagerstown, Sound, it's like it's constant. If it's in the newspaper, it's about crime, 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 crime. But as the mayor, I get to see all of the wonderful things happen in the city. And I think it does such a disservice to the business owners, to the people, to the politicians, everyone who works every day to make their city better. And I know you deal with the same thing because people have the perception of Baltimore the same way they do about Hagerstown. So tell me your perspective on that, because I know you're in the same role I am. Like you get to see the other side of that. So I know I grow frustrated with it. Yeah. You have to grow frustrated it's with it. It's a pain, it. right? And I yeah. think that people don't understand that even if we just had balance, if the same energy and effort went into, you know, putting out positive stories like, you know, <laughs> No Picks at the, uh, at the Dark podcast does consistently. And that's all we're asking. Yes. Because when you, you know, when you go and run a, a headline about a, a 12 year old boy getting shot and how he might be paralyzed, and then you don't follow up the next year to know that that kid is now walking again, right? But I see that because yes. I'm still talking with, with those families, right? We still communicate that. And it doesn't benefit anybody to hear negativity, or we know consistently, it's been studied, what your take in is gonna impact you. And when you're consistently hearing that negative energy, negative energy, negative stories, it gets into some people. But what I like to do is ignore it, right? You have to ignore the noise, stay focused on the vision, stay focused on what the work is, is. because the most, the majority of people, you know this, when you're out in Hagerstown, when I'm out in Baltimore, people pull you aside and say, Forget what they wrote in the paper. Yes. <laughs> Forget what they said on TV. You're doing a great job, and there's a lot of great things happening in Baltimore, in Hagerstown. When we see the people that come in, when I had mayors from all around the country in Baltimore recently, when I'm just walking downtown and someone says, oh, that's the mayor, and people say, well, we love your city, or well, people are moving in, and business owners are moving back in. We all have our problems, but we know that for every problem, there's so many people working on them, yes. but there's also so many positive things that are happening, and we have to highlight them as well. Absolutely. I wish we could do more of that. I we wish will. We, could do we more have of that. to. Yes. Mayor, I, I want to say, and I want to give you, you and your team a shout out. You know, you guys have done so many things for me that I, I can't even start telling people to audience, but one thing that really highlights to me was that, you know, we've had a good relationship, and I see you a lot. We live in the same neighborhood. Is shout that, out to Northeast Baltimore. Yeah, yeah, yeah Northeast, and you spoke up for me and I, t t I, I, cr I teared up a little bit because I was like when I heard about what you guys did for me to come to Mako it really meant a lot because it was like 
the mayor didn't have to say that. He didn't answer that phone call. He didn't have to say. But the reason why we're here recording is they called us and said, hey, you want to know a little bit about No Picture of Dark Podcast? And you said, hey, this guy is doing some great work. And so I really appreciate what you're doing. He's really doing the work. You may not see it right today or tomorrow, but he's doing the work. And we really salute you for what you're doing out there, sir. Well, thank you. But for me, it's what I'm supposed to do, right? Uh, because when you come from the place that I come from, when you've been that person that's been ignored all those years and, and you grow into a position of leadership where you can actually reach down and reach back and reach across and say, no, it's not just me coming through the door. I'm bringing everyone with me. Right. That's what we have to do. Some people might not like it, but it's the right thing to do because it's not good enough for me for me to just be invited or be at all of these things. I want so many more people to come with me because it's just like my political career, right? It was just me. I was only 20 something elected, right? And then no, we're gonna go and get everybody else. This is what we have to do to showcase how we can evolve and change in our society is having people not just look out for themselves, but everyone else too. May I go? Yeah, I don't, you inspire me. Well, you, thank you, you do. You Likewise, yeah. Madam Mayor. Thank you. Any, anybody that's a mayor, well, you know, there's a couple of qualifications. One, you gotta be a little crazy. We all have to be a little <laughs> yeah, insane, that's for sure. right? <laughs> and two, you really have to have a good uh, care for people, right? Don't, folks, I, want, I gotta look in the camera when I say this. People don't become mayor because they're gonna make a whole bunch of money. They become mayor because they wanna serve their, their residents, they wanna serve people, they wanna help people. They, no, they, we know, mayors know that you're not always gonna make people happy. But it's about doing the right thing, not the popular one. Not the thing that you know is gonna get you reelected, but the thing that five, 10, 15, 20 years from now, someone's gonna look back and go, wow, that was a really important decision. It actually worked out to our benefit. They might have hated the person, but it's the right thing to do. That's why people become elected officers, particularly mayors. I so agree. So we're gonna do something really fun real quick. Speed uh oh, round. let's go. All right, so hers is hard questions, okay? They're hard. <laughs> They're good. So we're, I'm gonna start off, favorite R&B group? Why are you asking me the question? I know what you're going to say, but tell, tell, tell the audience. Drew Hill. Okay, okay. <laughs> Shout out to Mervo Sisko. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. You ready? Backstreet Boys are in sync. Neither. <laughs> <laughs> Wu-Tang Clan. <laughs> Wu-Tang. All right. Favorite halftime performance? Ooh, favorite halftime performance. That's a hard one. Think, I want you to think about of it. All time. All time. That you can play it right now and just be like, this is. I, I, you know Michael Jackson did one back in the day. I got to go with that one. Got to go with, got to go with the GOAT. I like that. I like it. I like I, Yeah, you got to go with Michael Jackson. Now, famous, favorite performance, musical performance at a sporting event is Whitney singing the anthem. That's it. Oh. Done nothing beat that. Wow. That wins. Wow. Yeah. That Half wins. time though, I go with Mike. Wow. Yeah. 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 That 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 that, that definitely makes sense. Yeah. And um, while we're down here, like, what do you say? Like, are you gonna get some crabs today? Yeah, crab feast. I'm gonna show a whole bunch of folks how to really eat crabs. We <laughs> do that. All right. I love it. I love it. What about you? You get any more questions, the mayor? I no. You, no. I don't. You got no more. Probably lots, but we, we got them here live and direct. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's hard to catch up with them. What, what's next? What's next? <laughs> what's next? Uh, what's next is re-election in two years, yeah, so, that's a lot. you know, yeah. and then another term, and then we'll go we'll on see. from there. We'll go on from there. This is my 16th year in city government. So, wow. yeah, I've been in city government for 16 years, a long time. So, wow. we know. Wow, it's I'm going into my six, and it feels like 16. Yeah. <laughs> six is like 600. <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah. Well, folks, thank you guys so much for listening. We'll be right back at these messages.